Uh, Phil Glover is my name. I'm with uh, Sumitomo Chemical and uh, I'm based in Gunnada. And today uh, I'm going to be talking about uh, Progib Smartgrass, uh, which is a plant hormone for uh, getting uh, grasses to grow in winter. And I've been working with that now for just on 15 years. Grass pastures uh, grow slowly in winter uh, and it's because the colder weather stops the production of gibberellic acid. So uh, uh, we make uh, uh, Progib Smartgrass uh, by fermenting a fungus in a uh, large fermenter and turning it into a product and the fungus has huge quantities of gibberellic acid. And so the plants will respond quite well then to gibberellic acid and we see a, a, a improvement in growth of 40 to 60 percent in uh, a three week period. Nothing is actually going to grow uh, without moisture and fertiliser so you need to have adequate moisture and fertiliser. But the uh, time to apply Progib is straight after a grazing and uh, the plants have the uh, their growing tip right down the bottom of the stalk. So after grazing is a good time to get it because you're getting the, the hormone down into the plant, plant and uh, it's going to uh, then give you the response that you need. Progib mixes quite well with uh, uh, insecticides and uh, herbicides. Uh, we haven't had any problems with those and we'll also mix with EZN fertilizer. Uh, so when you're going over and doing your, your uh, spraying you can do two or three jobs at once. One of the things that you get with Progib is that uh, the, uh, your rotation can be reduced. Uh, in, typically in a dairy it might be 30 days in winter uh, and you can bring that, with, when you're using Progib in the program, you can bring that down to 18 or 20 days. So you pick up time there and your total dry matter for the winter will be increased um, by about uh, 40 to 60% uh, per application. So, and they're all additive uh, as you're going through the season. So you, you do pick up a lot more uh, dry matter per hectare. I've got a few rules of thumb for application. And the first one is uh, 100 litres of water per hectare because you need the coverage of that growing point. The uh, second one is uh, 20 grams of Progib per hectare and a little bit of wetting agent. And uh, um, it doesn't seem to matter what time of the day, but in it's winter, it's probably better after the frost has actually melted. Uh, rather than uh, doing it really early in the morning. Progib, I usually talk about the cost of it being less than a little bale of, of hay per hectare. So a bale of hay a hectare is uh, $20, so it's, it's less than that.